What's going on guys and welcome to another FIFA video. Today I'm going to be showing you a new training technique on silvers that are from uh, La Liga. However, I believe this type of method, if you reapply it to another league, would work very well as well. The reason I think La Liga is pretty good, I will actually just show you before I sort of show you the method, as to why this method does work. And it's uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, but I've sort of noticed over the last few days that I've been using and it's not bad at all. It's starting to allow me to make a lot of coins as well as doing the, the league, uh, Santan, Liga Santander for a bit cheaper than I would potentially do it for if I was just buying stuff by buying nails. So as you can see here, the max silver, so these two squads here are required bronzes and silvers. Uh, so you need seven in this one and you need a full squad here of silvers in this one. And the reason why it's great is because they don't need to be from one club. They can be in any, uh, any club, as long as you get the chemistry requirement there of 90 chemistry and over 70 rated. So basically any silvers that you pick up that are a bit higher rated than 70 rated, it would be like they sell on for a little bit more than uh, what the ones below that will sell for. Now, the reason why that's good is because obviously you can make a bit more profit on that. So you would type in silver, you type in La Liga, and you would basically try and work out what the lowest buy now is on these La Liga cards. So there's one there for 1.1. 1, 1. 1. Did they go any higher to 1.2? So 59th minute is around 1.2. Obviously, we don't we wouldn't list it at that price. Uh well, I don't know, maybe we would, because it looks like they would at least sell for 1.3, depending on how many are on the market at a certain time. However, the variety of cards here isn't that big, and it does look like the defenders are non-existent in here after examining it. So if you get a defender. Apart from here, this guy has only just been listed, so he actually might have been a quite a good snipe to pick up, uh, potentially. Uh, I won't do so just for the video sake, but the defenders look like they go for more. Let's just have a look. So defenders at 1.5. Yeah, it looks like defenders go for a bit more. So take that into consideration as you pick these cards up. So obviously the first one you could do is try and, try and snipe them. So you could actually even just do it by defenders and just try and snipe them below their lowest buy nows. Um, oh, so that 900 coin there would have been unbelievable. So you could do it by defenders here and just try and pick it up, probably say under 1.3, just to make sure you can make profit. So that 1.2 would have been nice, but obviously not the greatest. Uh, but if you get any of these silvers that do pop up at a reasonable price, you're gonna make a lot of coins on them. Now it might be a little bit harder if you're concentrating just on one position. Um, so the you know, it's unlikely that they'll be listed as regularly as the all the other silvers in the league, so just be aware of that. But during busy times, it might be worth doing so. So let's just try this without doing a particular position. We know the lowest we could sort of sell them on for is around 1.2, I think. Yep, yeah, about 1.2. So we'll put 1.1 in and we'll just start searching. So that guy there, 850, actually would have been good. Probably not going to get him. Yeah, he's already gone, I thought so. Try and get him. We've got Baba there at one point more. Well, I think it 1k. We'll have a look what he's going for. Uh it looks about 1.4 there. We could probably list him at 1.3 and make some coins on him. Uh but if you want a guaranteed sale, obviously we will list it at 1.2. Uh, but I still believe at 1.3 for a 73 rated card. Like I mean, if you remember at the start of the video, I said the higher rated the card is, the more likely he's gonna sell, the quicker he sells. Uh so we'll pick him up there for a bit more, and I'm sure he'll sell for us during this video. <coughs> now, sometimes you might have to go up to 1.2 here. Just remind yourself that it's, um, you've, you kind of, you've done that, you've made that change. And so picking them up uh, below sort of 1K now is the, the ideal mark that you want to do so. Now, as I said, if you get the silvers, the high, high rated, then they will sell on for more. If you get defenders, they will sell for more, and I believe also goalkeepers as well. Uh, the midfielders and strikers don't seem to go for as much, so it could be a little bit more difficult. Now, what, oh, there's a couple here, 1.2, it just got listed. They are they are defenders, this guy, so I reckon he would have actually been okay. We'll just check his price, 1.5. We probably can make, probably make some coins on him. I don't know if it's worth picking him up. Has he been sold yet? Yeah, he's expired already, so we wouldn't be able to get him anyway. Uh, we kind of dabbled on that, but if you see any centre backs that can't now at 1.2, we'll be able to sell them for about 1.4 at least, making a little bit of coins there. 
uh, should you want to. So it doesn't look like this method is actually very regular on the bike, on the snipes during this time of day that I'm doing it, but I know full well it does work. <coughs> there also is the other method here, which it does take a bit longer to um, to do this. It may be worth just taking the max price off and just sort of searching, because sometimes what I found, it doesn't filter through cards. So you can pick this uh, guy here, knowing that we sent him for 1.4 in terms of defenders. Uh, obviously, mass bidding here isn't as good as it would be in other leagues, but you can, you can start to see some of the players here that are filtering through. So we got a little bit late to the party on that one. Uh, but you can keep going and look for a card that has a bid on it and make your bid on it, depending on the price. So th I think the best way to do this is probably play around the maximums. Minimums, we're putting 950 here. Fortunately for us, uh, okay, so it looks like 950. So you basically, yeah, we just worked it out. So if we now bid 1,000 on all of these, we put, you know, we've got a good chance of making or picking up some of these cards on the mass bid. Uh, we know we can sell them for 1.2 should we want to. Uh, and some of them sell on for a lot more depending on the rating. So always check the cards. Uh, I can't stress that enough. That is the super important thing here. I might actually try this to on some cards for 950, depending on if they've not got a bid on yet. Uh, but the odd ones that do, I will go for up to a thousand, and then I'll be able to relist them on, make coins on them. And if I just have to repeat in this method, uh, in, until I've had 50 in my watch list, we know we need 11 silvers for the La Liga squad. And so we could literally um, sell on 39 of these cards and keep 11 in our, in our club to finish it off and we get that squad done. And we still make probably profit overall on, bit, on buying these cards because obviously you're selling more than you're putting into your club. And so the, the cost is basically covered by the profit, if that makes sense. And so you can get that, these silver parts done really easily. And what I find is the golds also are really, really sort of simple to pick up as well through doing all the other league SBCs. It's very rarely that I don't have La Liga cards in my club. And if I do so, then I could also repeat the method that I'm doing here, exactly here to make coins. And uh, yeah, it's it's that simple, guys. So hopefully you can um, use this method to your advantage to be able to do the La Liga SBC or whether just to make profit overall, uh, just, just general coins without doing any SBC, then you can do that. Uh, it's completely up to you how you do this, but um, I sometimes use it to get the Liga squad done for a little bit cheaper for non-profit I also putting some cards in my club that are going to help me do the SBCs further down the line um, so yeah guys very very simple method today but uh, one that can be effective depending on the time of day that you do it so if it's not working for you straight away from this video don't worry too much just come back a couple of hours later try it again and I'm sure it will work these cards are always required because of the league SBCs and so the prices will change slightly depending on if they needed any other uh, date for another SPC that EA release or um, depending on if the league sort of SPC gets popular or whatever, then uh, they may rise. So just keep an eye on the buy nows, keep an eye on the um, the bid prices that you can pick them up for. But yeah, guys, it's been a pleasure to share these tips with you that I am sort of uh, finding and uh, I'm making a lot of coins for doing so at the moment, really trying to grind packs for team of the year while making profit so that I'm not really using my coins if possible because I would actually like to put in a lot of coins into upgrades during team of the year to try and get some of the players untradeable. As you know, we do own a first owner squad and so we need to pick up the players for our squad untradeable. And so untradeable packs are part of the best way for me to go down. And if I was to get one tradable, I'd probably, even if I wanted to, I'd probably end up selling him anyway because I want the coins to be able to reinvest in that makes sense i don't know why i've just got a habit or phobia of all my cards having to be first owner and untradeable so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoy this video today i will be back for more training tips in the future please do drop a like please do subscribe thank you so much for the support as always and i'll see you next time peace